Dear Aaron, today is the day, the day you vow to be stuck with me for the rest of your life. Dear Marlis, from the day I first met you, I already knew that you would make my dreams come true. But don't worry, I got you a pair of socks in case that gave you cold feet. I won't be wearing any socks, but I'm not worried about cold feet. I'm not worried about the future. I'm not worried about vowing to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm not worried about any of these things because I know without a shred of doubt that you are my forever. Does that sound familiar? I hope so. When I asked you to be my girlfriend, I already knew that you were the girl I wanted to marry. All I had to do was win your heart and keep you happy. From the very beginning, I knew you were different. Not just because you're a goober, although that was a factor, but because of how easy it was to be around you. There is no hesitation, no uncertainty, no reservations. My true self in all her glory burst out because you were the perfect match. You are the most important person in my life. I feel lost when you aren't by my side. I am always in awe of how perfect you are. I can't wait to marry you, and today that comes true. I can't wait to go through life with you by my side, because you are my everything. I can't wait to raise a family with you, because I know you will be the most amazing mother in the world. The looks of love that you give me when I am being a goober are what I live for. Soon, those looks will come from me being a goober dad to our little kids. I will be annoying them just enough to keep them from getting mad, but slightly annoyed. I think you know about this. And I will forever smile if you do me a favor and walk down the aisle. Love, Aaron. It only made sense that our friendship turned into a relationship and that we decided to get married and start our life together. Our life of baseball games and volleyball teams, of road trips and staycations, of country concerts and making our own concerts in the car. I'm so excited for this life with you and wouldn't want it any other way, except maybe fewer Cardinals games and more Royals games. But this is the life I have chosen, and I choose it with you over and over again. And to think, all of this, our friendship, our love, and our life, exists because of your desperate plea for volleyball help. I love you with my whole heart, Aaron Gregory DeRuz, and can't wait to walk down the aisle to start forever with you. With all my love, your future wife. Please raise your glass with me in toasting the newlyweds. I have five, so I'll drink after each one or at the end. They are short. Marlis and Aaron, may you learn something new each day about each other. May you remember you had separate lives and activities before meeting and getting engaged. You are now a team, but do not forget about the things you enjoyed before joining forces. They are important to you. Cheers. May you be blessed with 13 children. I don't know. May you be blessed with children who are curious, bright, athletic, and fun and lovingly challenge you to be always improving as parents. Cheers. And finally, the most important, may you not forget about us parents slash friends as your life unfolds. Come and visit us once in a while. Cheers. Journey ahead. Love you both. <laughs>